What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? I'm back again in, up, in the, up in the attic, you know, getting away from everybody else, you know, they doing their thing. So, I'm back in the business, Mr. Warmack, and I'm here. Like I said, I talk about stuff and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> talk about stuff you wouldn't think coming from a guy who looked like me, but uh, that's that's the part that draws you in, don't it, because you're like, you're like, what the hell is this Negro thing he talking about, look at him, we're wearing his little sunglasses and uh, and his uh, um, uh, his little, little bandana, his little uh, white beater. Well, who do you think he's talking about? Let me listen to what he got to say. Well, that's, that's what you do. And then when you listen, you're like, uh-oh, he, he ain't doing it all. Let me go over there and shut him down. But back to the lecture hat. I'm going to talk about Hillary, this motherfucker. All of a sudden, Hillary's against the TPP now. Now, uh, Hillary Clinton is now posing the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a.k.a. the TPP. By the way, it's a plan which she was in favor of when she was Secretary of State working for Obama. And now she says she has time to dissect it, read it over, go over it, or her, and a lot of her staff with her don't agree it's right for America. Now, you don't read what she you were put on your table before, whenever you were Secretary of State, and you just blindly co-signed the President? Uh, you, there's a difference between supporting the President and blindly co-signing whatever he said, has to say. He can say, lock up all the, all the Jews right now. Alright, but then now, I'm against it now. Well, what's the difference? She was, she was doing, uh, she, she has, she has, she's pulling like a lot of patsy stuff. Like she's like being a fall person. I was just the Secretary of State, yada, yada, yada. You know, her detractors are saying that she is trying to aim for the liberal Democrats. Been on, uh, been on, like, get, so she can get in. But, uh, she says she's not in favor of it. And I can, I, I, here's, well, I think she's not a favorite. I think she talked to the great negotiator. I think she talked to the, all oh, you guys, his first black president, Bill Clinton. If you go to Blue Kittens, his presidency, he said his main regret was signing NAFTA. And I can see why. Now, if you go, if you, if you look up, if you look up NAFTA, the North America Free Trade Agreement, North America Free Trade Agreement, that's made the manufacturing in the Northeast, in the Southeast, the Midwest. It boomed in Texas area. Texas area. That's what it goes. They, what they what they did is, and then they're like, if you don't believe me, you look this shit up. Because what happened at my one brother's job, what happened at one of my friends' job. What they did is a lot of these companies, they, they literally, literally, within three miles of the border. Built companies on the border, like three with three miles on the border. Whether in Tijuana, Nuevo Laredo, uh, what's what's so wherever near uh, across the across the grounds or whatever, they literally built factories there and closed them up up here. And, and here's the here's the shitty part about it: they had to train these people. They they were sent. My brother was sent to Mexico. To show these schmucks how to build TVs. I mean, I don't want to, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I'm going to Mexico. You know, you get some senoritas, you know, hey, get, get some huevos, and hey, fuck it. But, uh, it, it decimated like a lot of towns, a lot of economies, and that started the, that started the whole drug epidemic. Yeah, it did. I mean, don't get mad at me, it did. Because a lot of people, Black, white, whatever, didn't have a job. They all went to drug dealing. And if you notice, in the 90s, when nobody had a job, 
drug dealer to save the economy. Why do you think people always say if you, if you the money, like, what was it? Like 80% of American bills have some type of drugs on them? If everybody's working at gas stations, it'd be a different, 80% of the uh, bills have gas on them. Think about it. But, uh, Hillary, she, she probably, that, that's probably why because of the NAFTA. And now Hillary got to make her bones in the areas where the NAFTA killed everybody. Hillary got to make her bones in the American Rust Belt, which got to start by her husband Bill. Like I said, he said his biggest regret was NAFTA. But the problem is Hillary has been in so many perceived scandals that the Americans have a little trust factor for this chick. She has to prove, like, like I said, well, all of a sudden, explain to me what was your thought process, and that, this is a burning part, killer. Explain to me the thought process you were going off of, of like, you first you supported the TPP, now all of a sudden, after reading it, and after thoroughly, after, after thorough investigation, it's always, it's always thorough investigation with these people. You never have a thorough investigation at first, but you always have one later. After a thorough investigation, now it's, Shops closed. Well, like I said, is Hillary, Hillary got to go to these areas where NAFTA got defeated. And if you notice any uh, any any free trade agreement, there's no free. It's, there's nothing free. Something's getting shut down in the northwest, in, in the north, in the Midwest, or the Southeast. Let me explain something to you people. Here's how bad. Here's, here's how bad it was. There were furniture, furniture companies. It was cheaper than this is no shit. It was cheaper than I don't know how, but it was cheaper. It was cheaper to go to North Carolina, chop the wood down, ship it over to China, have them make it. Well, then again, I can see why it's cheaper. Because you're only paying them like two yen and a bowl of rice, and there's three gazillion of them, so one fall down, next next man step up. But and that's, and that's, it was cheaper to do it that way and send it over here than to have the whole process done in North Carolina. Look, look, look at the, the, not the cotton mills, the, the like yarn mills, the textile mills, that's it, the textile mills in the northeast. Look at the steel mills and then um, and then the Mid Atlantic and the Rust Belt. It even stretched the farms. But now after further review, she's against it. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, this is... Alright. <laughs> so you, you know it's a TPP? You know me. So at the end of the day, when Hillary comes to your area, grill her on that. So I'm out. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.